Oh, uh, got one working. Excuse the mess. Yeah, let's push it on. Wedding a wee bit of a dance, it did. A short on the board. On oh, this processor card here, killed me main board. You can see it's working away now. Don't get shakes, I'll fix the main board at some point, but yeah, it's running. Uh, I had to change the sock, process the socket, I had to change both of the outside sockets. The turn pin sockets were, weren't just getting a good enough grip of these PAL chips. They've been in and out of things a few times, so. Yeah, but they're okay. Uh, two new RAM chips on it as well. Uh, the fault on this was actually the RAM there. Uh, can't show you the now. I'll try and tag it onto the video if I can. The SRAM on this side had about 80 ohms across its power pins. So it was loading the whole board down, stopping it running. Uh, there was a short... I think it was a solder bridge or something, I can't quite remember, on the back pins that fried the original main board I was testing with and it also killed the ROM there as well which gave me a bit of a problem for a few hours because one I'm trying to test the board and it's never processor card was pretending not to work but it was never going to work anyway with the main board killed and it was never going to work anyway with the ROM killed and I didn't have any 2001s left so I ended up having to use 4001s but that's not a problem is if it's a 32 pound ROM and you've got a 32 pound socket, you can put 4001, 2001, 1001, 040, pretty much anything you like in there really, as long as you copy the program enough times to fill the ROM. And I'll show you how to do that sometime. I've copied the program code for each ROM chip four times over to fit a 4001. Yeah, it's running like a trooper. I've got somebody sending me up an alpha display so I can just see exactly what it's up to. Uh, Apart from, is there any wire links in the back of it? No, no wire links at all. Well, there, I think there's maybe one, but yeah. Processor has actually got a bent pin, but it's okay, it's making a good contact. Uh, yeah, it's all right. So it owes me, it owes me a few quid this, this for the memory chips. And those original ones there, I mean, I'll say one of one of these shows about two mega cross power pins. I think the other one, yeah, 80 ohms. And all that's gonna do is draw a massive amount of current through the board and it drops the voltage on all the, the data and address bus and causes havoc. It could even be that that killed the main board, but it was definitely a short that killed the ROM. The ROMs wouldn't read afterward after trying them and I mean there it's over there. I tried putting it in the program and it was showing me bad contact on pin 5 and 6 and it was perfectly fine before because those ROMs had been in there for a while and I'd used them to test other boards. So, yeah. I would imagine at the minute we're getting an alarm for meters or whatever. But the status light is good enough for me. Process is executing code and it'll be on with the next one. Which will be this one, which is a part way through work in progress. We've already got a new socket there. Uh, there's been a lot of wireling caddies here, which we'll talk about later. And there's been quite a few wirelings. So I don't know the back my diagnosis with this at the minute is that that socket's been replaced and a few of the vias have been ripped up when the old socket was taken out. So, yeah, we'll get on with it. We'll see how we get on. Bye for now.